Number one, get clear. Next, outline the core pieces of your content. Step three, write three to five headlines. Step number four, bang out the intro. Step number five, bang through the core content. Don't remove your fingers from the keyboard. Step six, bang out the outro. Step seven, go through and just do like a, a once over. Step eight, add images. Step number nine, fill in the gaps. <sighs> Last month, I had an accidental successful product, caught me by surprise, called One Hour Blog Post. My content template tool that'll make content production a breeze. But I thought I would release this accompanying video, just a quick little thing on how to use it and my fancy nine step process for creating blog post quickly. Plus, outside of my system, there's also a few little smaller tips and tricks sprinkled throughout this video that I think you'll enjoy. So step zero in this process is to have a constant living document of blog post ideas or podcast ideas, YouTube video ideas. So then when it comes down to sit down to create a piece of content, you're not like, what? am I, what should I do this week? Could be a Google Doc, could be a fancy Airtable base like I have, could be a piece of paper, doesn't matter. Just keep a list of ideas on you at all times so you don't have to figure out what to do when it's actually time to sit down and write. Step number one, clarity. Get absolutely clear about the piece of content you're writing. This generally takes me less than four or five minutes. This is straight out of one hour blog post as well. Here's what I do. I write down the hook a one sentence, what is this video about? I write down, who's it for? The avatar, bloggers who need help with their affiliate marketing. Then I write down the happy ending. What's the desired outcome of the piece of content? After reading this post, people will know how to do X, Y, Z. And then I write down the problem, the challenge, the pain point, the frustration, what's in the way of the happy ending. They think they know how to do X, Y, Z, but they they don't actually, they, they should be doing this other X, Y, Z. That's the problem. Write out the hook, write out who's it for, write down the happy ending, the, the desired outcome of your post, and then the problem that your post is solving. Doing this gets you more clear on your content and will make the rest of writing or production faster and easier, I guarantee it. Step numero dos in this process is to outline. I recommend everybody outline. If you don't outline, why are you not outlining? It's so helpful. So just be, use bullet points, use Google Docs, use piece of paper, I don't really care what it is. Do this quick and sloppy. Do it as quick as humanly possible. And by the way, this is what I'm looking at right now. That's my outline. It took me less than five, 10 minutes for this YouTube video. Quick side note, if you're into SEO and that's what you're doing, this is the phase where you can do a little bit more SEO research to add more bullets, make sure your outline includes everything that you wanna talk about. And after this, it's basically just filling in the blanks. Now you have the outline of your post, you just fill them in, boom, 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 boom. Step number three, I encourage everybody to do this, write some headlines. Write some headlines first, write three to five. Basically, it's gonna help you get more clear about what you are writing in the intro especially, but also all throughout the post. They're gonna change later. You can come back and make them better, but go ahead and like brainstorm a few headlines right now to help get more clear. Step number four, write the intro. Some people say write the intro last, ah, forget that. You can use two different methods. The one hour blog post method I love is a copywriting framework called ADA, attention, interest, desire, and then action, but that's the outro. Grab people's attention with a short, catchy phrase, Keep their interest by talking about a pain point or the problem you're gonna solve, and then make them desire to read the rest of your post to keep reading by promising to help them solve the problem. Grab their attention with a bold statement, present the pain point, tell them how you're gonna solve that pain point for them and teach them something. Boom, there's your intro. Side note, there's also the income school approach. I love this, I love these guys on YouTube. Go check them out. They will often ask a question, including their SEO keyword, right in the first sentence, and then have a paragraph bolded right underneath it that just briefly answers it, almost like newspaper style, and then also leads them into why they want to continue reading for the rest of the post. Step number five, write out the core content, but I have some rules for you. The first rule, eliminate distractions. Airplane mode is your best friend. When you sit down to write your, fir your first draft, especially this core content, eliminate distractions. Rule number two, be quick and be sloppy. You have my permission. You have everybody's permission to be quick and sloppy because it's a draft, it's not your final thing. And the third and final rule is to get that first draft done as soon as humanly possible before you stand up from your desk. Don't remove your fingers from the keyboard. Be sloppy, be quick. Get that first draft of your core content out as soon as humanly possible. A quick tip alert. Use the ASDF placeholder hack. It's one of my favorites. So here's what you do. 
whenever you need to add a link to some other site and you'd have to go copy and paste it, or whenever you need to add an image, you'd have to create the graphic or go find a stock photo or whatever, or you'd have to like change the formatting of the prior paragraph or the next paragraph or insert anything that's gonna pull your fingers away from the keyboard. Whenever you have to do that, don't do it right away, just type ASDF. If your fingers are on the keyboard correctly, that's just a roll of the left hand. And then type out, come back here and insert link. Come back here and insert graphic of XYZ. Do this, bold the previous paragraph. I do this all the time. It's a placeholder and then I just keep writing ASDF, insert image later. And then I just keep writing the blog post. And then in a few minutes, when you finish your draft, you can come back, Command F or Control F if you're on Windows, search for ASDF, and that will highlight all of your placeholders. And then you go back and replace them with the image, the link, the formatting, or whatever it is. Use ASDF as a placeholder to come back and add better content, change the content later. So step number six, write the outro. And don't try to be clever. Just do a one sentence summary or a one paragraph summary, and then think through what your audience needs to do next. Comment below, subscribe to my newsletter, read this other piece of content, whatever it is, the call to action. There should probably be only one, but you could do one or two. Now, step seven, you have completed your draft. It's probably hideous. It's a flaming pile of cat litter. Just a once over formatting. If it takes you more than three minutes, you're doing it wrong. A once over formatting, make the headers correct, like H2s and H3s, or maybe throw in, go ahead and throw in one or two images, but just do like a very quick once over that takes it from 50% to like 70%. It's, a, it's now a workable piece of thing, no longer a flaming pile of cat litter. Step number eight, replace the placeholders. This is images. Images take time and it's easier to do them in bulk, as long, especially if you use those placeholders and you know what to put where. Go back through, add the images, create some pins, create the featured image, do all this stuff right there in bulk using your graphics editor. And step number nine, the last step is to fill in the content. And pro tip, I don't know if you're anything like me, but my rule about getting the draft done as soon as humanly possible, it's based on this. For me, a piece of content goes from mediocre to actually really good in the last 5% of the process. It's always like 20 minutes before I hit publish on something that I'm like, oh, I should totally add in this little joke right here, or this image, or this meme, or this gif, or whatever it is. For me, the last 5% of editing is generally when it goes from pretty good to, oh, that was sticky, that was engaging, that was awesome. So before you can ever get to that, of course, you have to do the first draft. Get the first draft done as quick as humanly possible. Step number nine is to go back in and fill out the content. Add more, check for spelling, do the grammar stuff, add in more images as you see fit, write more as you see fit, add in a clever joke, add in a meme, a gift that you didn't even think about before, fill in the content and get ready for step number 10, which is to boom hit publish, and that's it. Quick recap, number one, get clear about the content you are about to create. Ask who's it for, what's the happy ending, and what's the problem I'm solving? Just write it down, take three or four minutes. Next, outline the core pieces of your content, just bullet points and then sub bullet points. Step three, write three to five headlines, just super quick to help get you more clear about what this piece of content is. If you're a YouTuber, by the way, this is also where you think about what the thumbnail is gonna look like as well, because you have to have that in your head before you start recording. Step number four, bang out the intro. I love the Ada framework, just grab people's attention, introduce the pain point, and then tell them you're gonna solve that pain point in the rest of this piece of content. Step number five, bang through the core content, don't remove your fingers from the keyboards, be sloppy, be quick, use placeholders, just get that first draft done. Step six, bang out the outro. One sentence summary or one paragraph summary, Call to action, what do they need to do next? Tell them to do it. Step seven, go through and just do like a, a once over, super quick, less than three minutes, formatting and making it go from like flaming tile file of cat litter to workable draft. Step eight, add images, do all the images and pin stuff. Step number nine, fill in the gaps, edit grammar, check for all that fancy stuff, and then add a little bit more content, take away some content as you see fit. Hit publish. Okay. so. I have a much bigger mini training called Lightning Writing. It's this process and more, and I give templates and examples and checklist and editable Canva checklist. You can get that as a bump offer to one hour blog post, my content tool. I'll link to that below this video. Go pay me money and buy it. It's easily worth 10X that price. If it saves you an hour a week for a year, it's worth 20X the price I'm charging, $27. I'll link to that below. Go check it out. Other than that, 
Let me know any tips you might have in the comments, YouTube family. I love you guys. Thank you for watching this video as always. Adios.